Hello my friends, this is Coach Marco Robert and welcome to my channel. Guys, today I want to talk to you about the number one reason why most small businesses fail. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking, hey, I really want to avoid failing in business. I'm gonna tell you guys, this is something that I started to ask myself from the time I was about 22 years old. Right after graduating, you know, all my life I wanted to become a business owner. My entire life, I thought I'm gonna become a business owner, I'm gonna become a business owner. You know, I remember going through high school in the 1980s, yeah, that's how old I am, right? In the 1980s, I was going through high school and while most of my friends said that they wanted to become, you know, engineers or architects or accountants or firemen or whatever, my whole life I said, I'm going to become a business person. And now, today, this is something that is kind of common, right? You, you may have a lot of kids in high school who say, I want to become a business person. I'm going to tell you something. Back in those days, I was a total weirdo. Nobody ever talked about becoming a business person, okay? So, so right after college, now I'm equipped, right? I have the knowledge. I have the business knowledge. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to work for the man for a few years and I'm going to start my own business. So I moved back to Montreal, Canada, where I'm from, and I remember walking up and down the streets where I used to go and shop, and I remember noticing that some of the shops where I used to go and buy clothes or some of the coffee shops where I used to go and hang out were actually not there anymore. And I remember realizing, wow, businesses fail. You know, in my delusion of always wanting to own my own businesses, I never had thought that businesses actually can fail. I never thought about that. So it really freaked me out. Imagine this, right? Imagine if, if all your life you wanted something. Let's say all your life you wanted to become a fireman. And you think, this is what I'm gonna do, you know? Okay. And the only thing you can think about is, oh my God, I'm gonna be able to save all the damsels in distress, and I'm gonna be a hero, and I'm gonna be celebrated, and I'm gonna be able to ride on this beautiful fire engine, and I'm gonna be part of all the parades. And you see all the positive aspects of becoming a fireman. And then one day, you finally have your degree, you're about to start, and then you realize, holy moly, I can die. People die in fires. That's how I felt. I realized that, oh my God, you know, I want to own businesses. Most businesses actually fail. So it was such a shock to me that I embarked on this journey to try and identify the reasons that actually made the businesses successful. And I, I became an avid reader. Honestly, guys, until that point, I don't think I'd read five books in my life. And I became a, a, like, like a hungry reader. I, in fact, I even took some speed reading classes so I could read more books. I remember actually I was dating a girl at the time. She was a waitress and she would go to work and she'd come back home and she'd say, so what'd you do? What'd you do today, Marco? And I'd be like, well, I read three books. She's like, what? Yeah, I read three books. I speed read three books. And then she would quiz me. There's no way you read three books. She would quiz me. I'd say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd read three books. You know, some days I read three books. I was so hungry. I needed to find an answer. And I remember one time, guys, and I, I swear to you, this is like it was yesterday. It was th almost 30 years ago. I was 23 years old. I'm sitting on my couch. I mean, I'm actually in my apartment at 1101 Rachel East. So East Rachel Street. I'm sitting at that building in my apartment and I'm looking through the window. There's a beautiful park outside and I'm reading a book and suddenly I had this kind of moment of, of epiphany, kind of an illumination. It's almost like, it's almost like, a, oh, you know, like the, like the message just exploded from the book. And it was not in the book. It was just like something that just popped up in my head. And this is the realization that I had. I figured out that businesses succeeded when they were built on a foundation of systems. Now, I'm going to tell you how I realized that. At the time, I, I theorized that, see, franchises do not fail that much. 
Yet independently owned businesses fail at a very high rate. What is the difference between an independently owned business and a franchised business? It's systems. See, the franchised businesses, in fact, when you buy a franchise, what do you buy? You buy systems, you buy, you buy procedures, methods, you buy policies, you buy trainings, you buy processes, you buy systems. So I theorized that the way to become successful was actually to systemize businesses. And I embarked on this journey and I started to systemize. I was working at a hotel at the time, so I systemized that hotel. It worked, I turned around the hotel. Then I got hired to actually manage a big restaurant. Did the same thing, systemized everything, turned the restaurant around. So you wanna know how to actually not fail in business? Make sure you systemize everything. That is kind of the biggest secret of business success. Now, I need to go a little bit deeper. The truth is this, I've actually shared this with thousands and thousands, over 10,000 people at conferences around the world. And here's the truth. The vast majority of people listen to me, but they don't actually systemize their businesses. They're like, oh yeah, that's cute, that makes sense, but they never do it. So if we, got, we need to go deeper. The real reason why businesses fail, it's not because they're not systemized, it's because they, they're owned by somebody who won't systemize the businesses. You understand? They're owned by a different kind of person. You wanna succeed in business? You have to adopt the profile of the kind of person who will actually systemize their businesses. You have to become the kind of person who can actually make a business successful. I actually have a name for that person and if you've been watching my videos, I've been talking about this profile, this type of person over and over again. And I call this person an outlier entrepreneur. And this is somebody who is more curious. This is someone who is more devoted to their successes. This is someone who, who, who has a mastery over their own personal emotions. They do not allow the little feeble things of life to kind of affect them emotionally. They, they, it's someone who has a better mastery over their physical energy. You understand? Like they make decisions that actually impact their physical energy positively instead of making decisions that actually affect their physical energy negatively, like most normal, average, ordinary people out there. Outlier entrepreneurs also have another thing in common. They, they, they understand their own strengths and they play the game of life within the spectrum of their strengths, where most normal, average, ordinary people only try to overcome their weaknesses all the time. And then the last thing that outlier entrepreneurs have in common is they have a keen desire to find out more about the world. It's almost like inherently, intuitively, they know that in order to become more successful in life, in business, in your relationships, in anything, you're gonna need to learn about the world. You're gonna need to understand human beings. So they're, they tend to be fascinated by, by psychology, sociology, history. You know, they, they're fascinated by human beings. So you understand guys, if you wanna become successful, if you do not wanna fail in your business, the number one thing you have to do is to systemize your business. And I have proven it over and over and over again now for 30 years. Businesses that are systemized thrive. Businesses that are not systemized fail. I mean, it's that clear cut. But it's one thing to understand that it's quite another to become the kind of person, the outlier entrepreneur, the kind of person who actually does this. And that, my friend, is not something you're gonna learn in the book. That is something that you're going to have to become. And by becoming that person, and by understanding intellectually that the number one job of that person is to systemize the business, guys, there's almost no way that you cannot thrive and excel in any business. So you wanted to know how to avoid failing a business? That's exactly how you do it. Guys, this is Coach Marco Robert. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I love to see those likes pop up, <laughs> all right? And also, if you enjoyed it, please just comment below. Let me know what you think. I love to engage in conversations with you guys. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And uh, also subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos like this coming up. In fact, I think there's another one that's about to pop up right here, so make sure you watch that one too, okay? I'll see you guys later. Take care.
Guys, this is Coach Marco Robert. Remember, if you keep on doing what you've always done, you're going to keep on getting what you've always gotten. Click on the next videos and continue your education.